As word spread of the federal court ruling, ministers who have kept this case alive brought busloads of supporters to the Justice Center. We've come today to get justice for Marvin Booker and the Booker family. Yes, yes, Marvin Booker died at the hands of several deputies in the beleaguered Denver Sheriff's Department. The Court of Appeals found that all five deputies were instrumental in Mr. Booker's death. One of the deputies held him in a chokehold for way longer than department policy allowed. The court saying another deputy who handcuffed Booker put his entire body weight on his back while he was lying on the floor. At the same time, the sergeant on the scene took a taser and tased Mr. Booker also longer than the department policies allow. As well, his legs were tied up. Court of Appeals determined all five deputies contributed to his homicide. We must change our destiny so that justice will roll down like yeah, water yeah, yeah, and yeah. righteousness yeah, like a mighty stream. Yeah, yeah. Booker was killed when he asked deputies for a pair of new shoes he had bought hours before he was picked up and taken to jail, which is why people in the crowd brought shoes to the rally. Booker's son Spencer also came to the Justice Center recalling how his family learned about his dad's death in July of 2010. Since that time, my father went home to be with the Lord. After dealing with the matter with this city, 24 hours later, he fell and never got back up. We're still hurting, but we know justice will prevail. I'm just praying and hoping that he will, that he will have justice, because I know he wouldn't want to go down like he had to go down in cold blood and nobody would try to fight for it. Attorneys for Marvin Booker's family say this is a case that will go down in history when it comes to how people are treated by police. This is one of the biggest cases that Denver's ever been confronted with that's going to go to a jury trial. As black and red balloons kiss the sky, those gathered hope justice for Marvin will finally come. At the courthouse, John Bowman, Channel 2 News.